The original Suspiria, made in 1977, was the fifth film by Italian horror master Dario Argento. It was a garish affair, notable for the improbably colourful interiors of the Dance Academy in Freiburg. It came as a surprise, then, when the talented Italian director Luca Guadagnino, I Am Love, A Bigger Splash, Call Me By Your Name, announced that he was making a new version of Suspiria. And then word started to trickle out that Guadagnino's favourite actress, Tilda Swinton, was playing two roles in the film. Not only that of the severe, chain-smoking Madame Blanc, the artistic director of the dance school, the role Joan Bennett played in the original, but also that of a new character invented for the remake. The film opens in Berlin in 1977, with the city still divided between East and West. The young American dancer, Patricia, Chloe Grace Moretz, arrives at the home of Dr. Josef Klemperer, Lutz Ebersdorf, to express her fears about the dance academy where she's studying. Klemperer doesn't take her very seriously, but when she disappears after leaving a notebook with him, he starts an investigation. Meanwhile, Susie, Dakota Johnson, daughter of Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson, arrives at the academy, which is located immediately opposite the Berlin Wall. Despite the fact that she's had no training, she's given an audition and residential status. Now, the alert film buff will quickly appreciate that members of the teaching establishment have been cast with actresses who made their mark in the 70s. Angela Winkler, Ingrid Carvin, Renny Sutenjik among them. Even the original Susie, Jessica Harper, turns up in a small but important role. Much of the film unfolds in a very low register, especially when Ebersdorf's Klemperer is on screen. The major differences between the two films are the far greater use of dance sequences in the new version, the introduction of the Klemperer character, and the rejection of the garish primary colours that distinguished Argento's movie in favour of Cold War-era drabness. Ultimately, the new Suspiria is a strangely low-key and at times rather turgid affair, but there are enough compensations, not least in the outstanding cinematography and editing, to make it a highly intriguing cinema experience. I'm giving it three and a half stars.